Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series and today we are going to learn and focus on how to clear forms using the form group or in the reactive forms module. Welcome back, my name is Sridhar. I have over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer. I am here to share my knowledge on the modern web technologies. I'm also here to learn from you all so during the course of this tutorial series, if you have any questions, any doubts, just feel free to ask me in the comments section below. I will be happy to help you for free. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in bringing these tutorials for you. So please subscribe to my channel and also like my videos. Thank you so much in advance. I've created a playlist on Angular 9, which is covering from basic introduction to the advanced tutorials in detail with code hands-on examples. Make sure you have checked it out if you really want to learn Angular and master it. The playlist link is in the description box below. So far in the Angular form series, we have learned about template-driven forms and reactive forms. We have added validation. We have learned how to get value, how to set values. An important aspect of forms is to reset them after user has entered some value right so we will learn this in this tutorial which is to reset the forms to reset the form it's important because we don't want we don't want the user to have duplicate values or sometimes duplicate operations so the moment user fills the form and enters it or if he wants to clear it we can always use the reset method and reset the entire form in one go. Let's see how to do that in hands-on example. So to show you the output so far, we have our application which we are building. It is built on reactive forms. It has form controls that we have done. We have used, we have used the set value to set the form value. Now I'm going to add a clear button, right? And we will use that to create. Okay, and I'll call it clear. Okay, so we have a clear button. We will remove this. Instead, we'll use click and say that whenever user clicks on this, we should create clear the form. Right, so now let's define this method and we will write here and we will create and clear the form the way to do the clearing of the form is this dot checkout form dot reset so when we use reset method it will clear the entire form in one go individually we can reset the form elements also but it makes much sense to clear the entire form in one go now let's see this in action Let's run it and we, we should see our form. Now I'll click on clear and this will reset the form. See that when I click on it, the entire form is reset because we are using a method which says this dot checkout dot form dot reset. So we will use reset method to reset the entire form in one shot. Right. So that is how we will use the reset uh, method to clear off uh, the form fields. Uh, you can use this once the user has submitted the data. We can also do that or alternatively, we can do it by saying that uh, how do we want to process it in terms of clearing the form fields or the entire form. So we can either use it form field or the entire form reset. So now I'm going to call this method once the user has done post data. So if you see this, I'll say this dot reset form. So now I'm giving two options. One, we can clear the form using clear or once the user clicks on submit. So I'll show you both use cases. So first I'm going to clear it using the clear link. So when I click on it, it clears the entire form link, right? 
so it has cleared the form now let's refresh this the values will be back and once it is back now I'm, what I'm going to do I'm, a, I'm going to enable the form by checking on agree to terms now when I click checkout it will log the values and it will clear the form so we see here it has logged the details here and it has cleared the form as well so this is one of the most basic um, requirements of the forms that we have to work with so go ahead try this out let me know if you have any issues in using it thank you so much for joining in today's episode i will see you in the next episode where i will teach you how to track values which are changing for form controls yet another extremely important feature not to miss so make sure you like my video make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on these tutorials thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode